Today I'm going to show you how to make custom blocks and Minecraft add-ons using Bridge V2. If you don't have Bridge installed, a tutorial will be linked down in the description. First, we need to create a new project. It is very important that we enable holiday creator features in order for our block to show up. We'll then set a name and don't forget to add an author. To create a new block, click on the new file button and choose the blank block template. You'll need to set an identifier, which is the block's name but all lowercase and underscores instead of spaces. I'll set this as a tutorial underscore block. We can then define the display name like normal. Finally, we'll leave the image option blank so Bridge can set up the texture for us. By default, the block will be made up of a description where you define the identifier and the components where all the properties and attributes will be defined. First, we'll tell the block to emit light and have a break duration of 2. Next, we'll run the bridge colon placed event when the player destroys the block. Bridge will complain that the event does not exist, so we'll create it by defining a new part of the block called events. This will tell the block to run the summon command when the event is called, which will summon a zombie on the block. If we save and head into game, we can create a new world. Make sure to enable creative. You also need to enable holiday creative features on your experiments like we did when creating the project. After that, we can apply our behavior pack and resource pack and hop into the world. By default, our block will not appear in the creative category, so we'll need to give it to ourselves using this command. As you can see, when we break the block, a zombie is summoned like we defined in events. Now, you might want to change the texture and display name of the block, so in order to do that, locate your bridge project, go to the RP folder, and look under textures, then blocks. You should see your texture right there. You can edit it in any software, just make sure to refresh your bridge project after doing so. In order to change the display name, we can locate the n underscore us file under text in our resource section of our bridge project. All we have to do is change the text after the equal sign. This has been custom blocks in 100 seconds. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.